My name is Slade Nakoff. I'm a uh, seasonal interpreter ranger here at Sikkim Patrol State Park. Um, and I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about uh, scrimshaw. Um, so, uh, I guess one might ask first, what is scrimshaw? Um, and it is, um, in very plain terms, the use of uh, a carving implement in some sort of medium like horn or bone or ivory, um, scratching in lines which are then filled with a pigment um, to then create patterns and designs. Um, one of the unique things about this art form is it is um, particularly American. Um, it started really, uh, especially in uh, colonial America, um, and uh, flourished on whaling vessels um, in the early uh, 19th century. Um, and as time progressed, it kind of um, started dying out, but we try and keep it alive here today at Sigmore Shores. Um, so what I'm working on here today is what would be considered a trade horn, um, and it is a powder horn. So this is, um, think of um, powder horns, um, and the horn material itself as like uh, 18th century Tupperware. Um, this is made to keep your black powder dry, of course. Um, I guess the technical aspect of things um, is I have a sharp implement that I am scraping the horn with um, to make lines, and then I am going to take steel wool, I'm gonna rub those lines, and then I'm gonna put ink in it. They would have been using something like uh, uh, India ink or something like that, but modern day we use Sharpies because it's a lot less messy. Um, and so um, the um, powder horns, some, well, they're very individual. Like, you know, think about somebody sitting around a campfire and, you know, it's late at night, they don't have anything to do, they're going to take their knife out and whittle on their horn. Um, so you have a wide variety of uh, depictions in original, uh, on original horns. Um, and there are actually professionals that, uh, in places like England that would have been uh, professional horners making the uh, powder horns themselves um, and sometimes doing engraving and that sort of thing on horns. Um, so you have a wide variety of skill level, you might say. Um, so some, um, some horns look like they were done, uh, well, I guess, they, they don't look as good as others. Um, but a lot of times they um, state the person's name, who owns the horn, perhaps the date, um, and then sometimes they tell stories about events that have happened. Um, and so uh, this horn that I'm working on here um, is discussing um, or trying to present the story of um, Abakula Kula's um, trip to England. Um, and so it's going to be hard to tell on the camera, but here we have a boat um, in the water, and it's coming to, and then we have the scene of London, and it has the date. Um, and then what I'm going to be carving uh, today um, is the mountain range that he's going back to, um, and the water in between. Um, so that's kind of what I'm, I'm working on here today. So um, in a, a uh, simple uh, process, I'll, I'll just show you here how easy it is. Well, easy is relative, but to make a line, I can even uh, do it on a piece of scrap here. Um, so I'm gonna take, this is a, uh, technically a carbide tipped scribe because um, it's a lot more handy than using a knife, um, I find. Um, but what I'll do is I'll just put it down, bear down pressure, and make a scratch. I'll take my steel wool, I'll rub the scratch, I'll then take my sharpie, go over the scratch, and then take the steel wool again and go back over. And then see there is now a line where there once was not a line. So that is the general premise of Scrimshaw. Um, 
a lot of the motifs that people typically think um, uh, uh, that deal with uh, scrimshaw uh, essentially are um, nautical because um, if you think of whaling ships in the early 19th century, they had a lot of whale bones and a lot of time, and so they grabbed their knives and they carved, started carving designs into them. So a lot of mermaids and ships and things. Um, but you even see um, some very elaborate things being done um, out of these bones. So here's a clock that someone made um, out of whale bones, and they've done scrimshaw to make the numbers um, on the clock face. Um, so all sorts of different um, designs and patterns. Um, here's a box that was made, um, and you can see the scrimshaw down here. Here's a sailing vessel in some sort of tropical island. Um, and then um, you see here are some typical, um, these are original powder horn examples. Um, so you see the name of uh, the person that says Captain Israel uh, Henrik. Uh, so uh, that's um, an original horn there. Um, so, thank you.